Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Mennings. And in today's episode, I'm going to be doing some more cargo running. So today I'm going to be in the max again. I'm coming to the end of the max life now and looking at upgrading to a Taurus with a bit more cargo space. But I still wanted to do some more of these cargo runs just to show the people that do have the smaller ships. I am trying to work my way up to a Caterpillar and do more runs in a Caterpillar, but I still need a medium ship. That's why I'm looking at the Taurus. So I thought I'd do some more runs with the UEX trading thing. So today I was just going through, and what I tend to do is I look across here and just look at the profits, and I know Grecium's quite low stock in places. So I just sort of have a look at the profits as I'm going along, what I can have. And I, was, I came across diamonds, and I thought 12,000 for diamonds, it's an all right profit to look at. But then when you choose the place you want to get it from and the choose you want to, and where you want to sell it, it then gives you a, a proper profit margin. So I was looking at that and I was looking at diamond. So I thought 39,000 profit. If I'm going to go to get it from Microtech because I'm in the Microtech area and that's the best price I'm going to get it, um, it is at this place here, this Riari um, Deltana. And that's in Microtech, and that's gonna get. I'm gonna get it for the lowest price at that place. So I thought, well, I'm in Microtech, I can do this one. So then I'm looking at the sell place, and I'm looking at three, um, four, three, or two, and it's three, four, or two all the way down up until these two points. So New Babbage, I can get it from New Babbage at that price. Uh, sell it at New Babbage at, at that pr the same price as everywhere else. So I don't have to travel far up and down. Basically, that's what I'm gonna do. And it's saying about thirty-nine thousand profit. So what I do then is I add that to my list down here. And then I can, it works out then basically that much. And if you've got two people that much, if you've got three people that much. And so I'm going to do this one today. But even though this says about 39,000 profit, I think I would uh, I can earn about 50,000 depending on the stock levels. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to do four runs. I've already got some stock on my ship already. Um, some beryl and some uh, agrisium, I think it is. Uh, half half of my ship is full with that. But I'm still going to go down to this place and still fill up the other half with diamond. And then I'm going to do three additional runs to that and just see what I can do. See if I can do it in an hour. See, if, I'm aiming at around 10 to 15 minutes per run from from the selling the stock, going back, picking up stock, going back and selling the stock, basically. So from selling it and the moment I sell it, 10 minutes to get to the, to the place, sell it and back, uh, to buy it and then back to sell it. So that's what I'm hoping and see if I can do four runs in an hour, basically. So yeah, and if I, if that's successful and I do get around 50,000, I could be looking at around 200,000 profit in the end for that hour. And the normal profit range is about uh, 100,000, depending on what you do. So something like salvaging in a, in a vulture, you're probably looking at around 100,000 profit for that hour. So let's get into this one, guys. Let's Let's do it. Turn engines off. Powering down systems.
turn engines on. Starting pre flight protocols. All systems operational. And what we're going to do is we're going to just go straight back down to New Babbage here. Not even going to land in the thing, we're just going to sell it from, we're going to yes, land exactly. near it and then outside, um, from near it outside and then go in. Straight into an armistice zone, ping, find out where the airport is over there. So the spaceport's there, we're going to go here. So I'll jump down on top of each other. Turn engines off. So many vehicles and stuff here. Right, so many ships you could steal here. to the commons. Sell the stock I've got. 1.41 million I've got. So let's sell the diamonds. 296. We bought it for 267. So we're going to make 296. We're going to make 30. We just shot that 29 grand with that. But that's not a full load. Got a barrel to sell. the Grecium to sell. Cool. All sold. So we've got 1843. So we've got 1,843,000. 43,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this diamond run again. And again, it's all about stock and just, just checking the stock. I've never, never been down there. Never been down here. It's like they've opened up loads of areas.
So I'm doing this run in my max, and at some stage I'm going to change my max and get something like a Taurus, which has got about 50 more cargo. So I could be earning a little bit more money with that, you see. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Building. Pressurizing so let's have a look at the stock. So we're back up to 900 knot now. So we're going to get really good stock because it's almost full. Because it's a thousand is the max here. So we're going to get it for 463 for 120. So 463.5. So let's check that. 463.5. Accept that. Full load. Let's go. So this is um, half a million, which is quite a sub substantial amount of money. Half a million, it's a lot of money. So it's a big amount up front. Turn engines on. Starting brief flight protocols. All systems operations completed. Start heading up. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. So we're currently running around nine to ten minutes at the moment. Could have landed closer if all this stuff wasn't here. Could have saved us some time.
Three Lancer Max. Da, 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 516. Let's have it for confirm. 516. Accept that. So we made 47, 47 grand there, 47 grand in 10 minutes, uh, 13 minutes that took me. So in 13 minutes I made 47 grand on that run. There was plenty of stock there, might not be always the case, but that's not actually a bad run. Um, what I'll do is I'll head back there and do another one, but 40... Seven grand is a good run. In say you could say you do it in ten minutes, then that's four hundred thousand an hour, way beyond the hundred thousand an hour that most things do. And if you do it in fifteen minutes, then you're still going to get four runs in, which is still going to be what am I on about? No, if you do six runs at 40 grand you're going to get 40 times six so you're going to get 40 80 160 240 so you get 240 240 grand if you can do it in 10 minutes and do four and do six runs in an hour if you do 15 minutes and do four runs so 40 80 160 so it's still more than the 100 per hour that is normal. So let's go back and see if the stock is still good stock and do another run. What I'll do is I'll push this one forward. And like I said, I don't control the stocks. I can only look at these sites where I'm looking at stuff and, and saying, right, I'll try this one and go and see if the stock's there. When I got there, there was 600 or 700 stock. When I went back the second time, there was 900 stock. So we'll see when we go this time, how much stock is there this time. And I can't control stock. So if the stock's not there, then that's not on me, guys. It really isn't. I, you can only see what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything magical. So it's only worth a try basically if you if it's there it's i'm just showing you routes and where they might be stuck and in a max so i've not got a big ship i am trying to push towards getting a caterpillar and then i'll start doing some runs in a caterpillar but i want to sort of do runs for people that don't have a caterpillar or can't yet get the money towards a caterpillar so I want to show people the runs in the smaller ships. I am at some point going to change the ship and get a, a Taurus. Um, it's going to cost me an extra £40 to get it uh, as a pledge. Um, once I melt this one down. So yeah, I reckon as on an average... On a, um, as a normal, you'd probably be able to get five in. You may be able to six squeeze, squeeze six in. Six runs in an hour. So it's just all dependent on this stock, really. So down to seven, eight, six. Three months of max. So somebody else may be doing it. So we'll buy that for four, six, five. And we bought it for four, six, three last time. So 2,000 more this time we're paying because the stock is lo um, getting lower as the stock gets lower the price goes up and if this if there's um too much stock at the place you sell then you sell it for less as well so it's something to watch out for if you're just hammering an area just keep an eye on them stocks becoming too low or too too high at the other end and just then decide maybe have a different run of something else They need some sort of vehicle where you can come and pick boxes up. 
rather than just a tractor beam that you can't use in analysis so on. Thank you. To max i bought it for, so i bought it for 465 and i'm going to sell it for 516 again so 465 516 so 41 grand made there 41000 and that's the third one I've done, basically. I had yeah, I had the Grecium and and Beryl with the other one, with the other with the other one. So probably made around the same, I think. So. So one more, but this time I might go somewhere else and see if I get a different price. We'll have a look. And if you look at the fuel cost, it's, it's just hardly anything. Use like 25% of my fuel or something. Like that. Yeah, really windy in Microtech. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Let's have a look at the stock again, see if it's gone down. So it's not too bad. So we're probably going to lose another two grand on this one. On the price, we're probably going to get it for four, six, seven or something like that, maybe. Yeah. So confirm that. Accept that. And off we go. The fourth trip. And at the end, I'll. Just with what I've what I've got up to here, I'll I'll work out how much I earned in this hour of trade, and you can basically see then how much I've actually earned. It's a simple trip, and they're in the armistice zones as well. Although saying that, in here, there's um. No one would be able to pull a gun out, but I wouldn't be able to report them. Turn engines on. Starting brief flight protocols. All systems operational. Max. 
We paid four six seven. And we're going to sell it for five seven uh, five sixteen. So what's that? Five seven. So basically, thirty nine thousand. I think from that. Thirty nine thousand four six seven. So what is it? Five sixteen. Um, Five sixteen minus four six seven equals forty nine thousand. Forty nine thousand I made that. So let me do the maths on this. So the first one I sold for five sixteen. Let me just quickly do the maths. So the first one I sold sold for five sixteen and we paid four six three. So we made fifty three thousand on the first one. Then we paid, then we we sold for five sixteen on the second one, and paid four six five four six five on the second one equals fifty one, on the second one, and then this last one here I'm not gonna count the first one because I had other stock with the first one, and the and this one we paid we sold for five sixteen. And we paid four six seven. So we made forty nine on that one. So forty nine. So that's one hundred and fifty three plus whatever. So close to two hundred thousand we made on that four runs there with the foot with the four sets of cargo that we had. So around two hundred thousand in an hour is double what you can make normally um with with certain things like with the the gameplay loops of a thousand hundred thousand per hour so i said that's a really good um a really good run it, obviously keeping an eye on the stock so yeah so if i bring up the the thing again just to show you that so let me show you this again guys so if i bring up my display so i'm at the uex court one and i picked diamond and you'll see I picked the Freelancer Max, and this is what we should earn around, sort of average. So if I pick the top one, which is going to get the best price for, 3.9, whatever, and then we're going to sell it here. They're all the same, 4, 3, 2, apart from these two places. So we're going to sell it at the closest place, which is New Babbage, as long as you're not going to lose too much money, which we're not going to lose any money. So we might as well get to the local location. And then that gives me the price there then, basically. And that's saying it should be around 39,000. And when you click Add to List, it says 39,000 here as well. These are some other stuff I was looking at. And so if I want to know I'm going to go for diamonds, I'll go to SC Trade Tools here. And uh, when I'm at SC Trade Tools, I'll click the trade routes and I'll put something in there, just like 2 million or whatever, click Submit. So it gives me the, the commodities thing. I can click the commodity and then I can choose on there and I'll go down to something like, say, that diamond. Uh, once it comes up, diamond. And click submit. And that's going to show me all the places where I can buy and sell. So what I look at is I look at down here. So when I see there's going to be around um, a thousand, I can say right, okay, I can come to these places and, and get them for a thousand. There's going to be a thousand, so there should be some stock to check out. And that's what I basically did. And then I was then I looked here and said right, how much can I sell in one go? And basically that's what I was looking at here. So because you can sell a massive chunk in one go at these places, I thought, well, get that. There's going to be enough for my ship, for my, for my max, for a few runs if nobody else is doing it. And I'm going to be able to, to come over to, to the um, new Babbage place here and be able to sell enough stock. So that's how I worked out the run, basically. So, yeah. So uh, let me hide that display catcher again. Uh, that's it, basically. So... I made around 200, just shot 200,000 in an hour there. And that's how I did that. So diamonds with a small ship like a Max, not a bad run. It's, it's, it's a decent run. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think of that run and, and what you, runs you guys are doing in the comments and anything I should check out myself. And uh, yeah, we hope you like that one, guys. And don't forget to take that punch and tickle the like button. Check out the description, guys, as always and um, join the Discord and come and chat to us and, and join in the fun over on the Discord and jumping on with us as, a, as an org. So, uh, yeah, we hope to uh, see you guys out in the verse. We'll catch you guys later.